The Missing Wife by Peter Worley G&T? Please. How's your day been? Lousy. Out of four clients I was supposed to be seeing, only two even bothered turning up. Do I have to do anything about dinner? No, it's all done. Hello? Oh, hi, Paul. It's Mark. Oh, hi. Haven't got Denise there, have you? No, sorry, no. Hang on. Uh, have we seen Denise? It's Mark. I haven't, no. Uh, sorry, old man. Can't help. Oh, never mind. I'm sure she'll turn up. I'll get it. Bless you. Alison Cullen speaking. Alison, hi, it's Mark. Oh, hello. I'm sorry to ring so late. I, I rang earlier asking if you got Denise round there. Yeah. Only, um, she's still not home. I know it's silly, but I've tried everyone else. You've not heard from her, have you? Nothing. Oh, well. Might there be something on at school? Problem. Oh, it's Mark. Denise still hasn't turned up. Oh, dear. That was the first thing I thought of, but no, I've just spoken to the head. In fact, it turns out she left promptly at half three, which is a rare thing for her. Well, maybe she's left a note somewhere? Uh, no, I've, I've searched high and low. Nothing. Look, why don't we come round? I'm sorry, I'm ruining your evening, aren't I? Oh, don't be silly. Now, have you eaten because we've heaps left from dinner? Uh, no, I, I made myself a sandwich, but um, let me offer you a drink. Oh, won't say no. Actually, Paul had a thought on the way round. You sure the phone's working? I mean, I know you can make outgoing calls, but... Uh, no, it's not the phone. No? I've had people phoning back when I've left messages, Sam. Um, there we are. Cheers. Thank you. And is that Denise's car on the drive? Yeah, it, it was there when I got back. Uh, it might have been there all day, I, I don't know. See, sometimes she'll walk to school. I've seen her. So she could have done that, or um, or gone in the car, then come back and gone out again without it. And there isn't a bag or a pile of books that would... Oh, just <laughs> bags and books all over the place. Too many to tell me anything. Oh, Mark, this must be awful for you. Well, beginning to be. I hate to say this, but maybe you run the hospital. And the police. Nothing. Oh, well, that's encouraging. Just can't think what else I can do. Is it possible something's happened to one of her family, I mean? Well, I've rung them as well, including her mother, which I didn't want to do because she's the sort who panics, even when there's nothing to panic about. So now, of course, she's panicking like mad. And you've rung friends, colleagues? Been through the book. Of course, everybody has a different suggestion. She'll be playing badminton. Uh, it'll be quiz night. Parents evening, and I know, all right, she never stops, always out doing something, but uh, she always lets me know, usually more than once, just so I won't be, well, doing what I've been doing tonight. The best thing is to sit tight and wait for her to walk in. Which will probably happen any minute. Mm. Oh, and um, we haven't had a row. It's not that. No. Well, well, you must be wondering. I know I would. But honestly, we've been fine now. Uh, just last night we were talking about starting a family. No, I think it's fairly obvious. What? Hey, that's an almighty row. She stormed off. But he said they haven't. I mean, he specifically... Yes, I know he did, but come on, that's what we'd all say. Your wife disappears, you're not going to tell the neighbours everything. Confess that you've been miserable as sin for the past... However many years. But they haven't. We've seen some sign of that, surely. Do you want another drink? Take away the taste of that one Mark gave us. No. Well, I think I might just... And, anyway, if they have had a row, which I don't believe, why would he be doing all that ringing round? Because he knows why she's gone, but not where. Well, perhaps, but he'd hardly be ringing the police in the hospital, would he? And who says he has? He did. Precisely. <sighs> yeah, well... <sighs> I can't prove it, but I still say if I've ever heard anybody telling the truth, then Mark is. You only have to look at him to see he's worried sick. And all I'm saying is there's no mystery as to why. They've had an almighty row, and she's walked out. I feel so sorry for him. Three days waiting by that phone. Thought you said he'd been going to work. All right. But in the evenings he's there. Like he must be now. Why don't you go round? 
What if he wants someone to talk to? Because he might. And then I'd have to listen. Well, then I'm going. And if he hasn't eaten, I'm going to invite him round here. This is very kind. I'm sorry we're just going to sit and watch you, but we had ours earlier. No developments on the Denise front, then? Uh, nothing. No, I just think... Well, I don't know what to think. I just have this feeling that I'm never going to see her again. Don't say that. No, no, I don't think you can say that. Now, to be quite frank, old man, yes, she might have gone. But also, she might just as well walk back in tomorrow. And until you know the whys and wherefores, you just can't say nobody can. No. Well, you read about these cases, don't you? Woman out on her own, attacked for no reason. If that were it, then somebody would have found her. Absolutely. The more time passes, the more you can be certain that that's not what's happened. So what has? We none of us know. Which is why we mustn't jump to conclusions. <sighs> anyway, how are you? Because you've got to think about your health through all this. Oh, I got some sleeping pills from the doctor, which don't work. And something he calls them um, beta blockers, which are supposed to calm me down. Mark. Oh, hi. Sorry to keep being the nosy neighbour, but I have to ask. Um, nothing, no. Mine, I've been away most of the weekends. Um, sorry, I think that's Yeah, my... it's your phone, yeah. Yeah, uh, excuse me. Yeah, I... yeah, go on, go on. on material from four of his You here all day? All day. Head down over barn conversion. Um, this car's still there, isn't it? What? Uh, mm, yes. What are you doing? Just seeing if he's all right. I think we know that he's not. Never been less all right from what you were saying. I mean, what's bringing him supposed to achieve? Hello? Mark, it's Alison. Oh, hi. Just uh, wondered how you are. Oh, OK. On my way out, actually. Off to work. Well, I won't keep you. Let us know if you hear anything, won't you? Uh, I will, yes. Okay, bye. How was the uh, course? Exhausting. Yeah? Didn't close the bar till two o'clock every morning. <laughs> How are you? Uh, f fine. I've, um, except that... Uh, sorry, uh, I'm not very good at telling people this. Well, not yet. It's Denise. She's um, disappeared. When you say... She's gone. Vanished. A week ago today, I got home, she wasn't there since then. Not a word. Mark? Uh, but listen, uh, this is for your ears only. You know what this place is like for gossip. Have you been to the police? Going this morning. Appointment at 11. Uh, your wife's full name? Uh, Denise Sarah Telfer. Age, 29. Occupation? Uh, school teacher. Same address as you, obviously. Mm. And the last time you saw her was? Um, last Monday, uh, the 12th. Time? About half eight before I went to work. And was there anything about her that gave you uh, cause for concern? Uh, no. 
No health problems? Nope. Had you argued about anything? Uh, no. Perhaps not that morning, but... Oh, uh, well, you know, we argued. Sometimes. Who doesn't? But not that that would have sent her running off. Then he said, did I have any reason to think a crime might have been committed? I said, well, she has disappeared. He said, apart from that, I said, no, I don't suppose I have. Does that mean they're not going to do anything? Well, he said they'll circulate her description. Helpful. Well, I suppose from their point of view, this is a sane adult woman. If she wants to disappear, she's entitled. She's not entitled to put you through this. I don't suppose that's why she's doing it, just to make me suffer. I didn't mean that was a reason. That's if she had any choice, if she hasn't been murdered. Ma, or... Well, it happens. The police can't think that's likely. They'll be doing something. The police can't do anything till they've evidence there's been a crime committed. Till then, what am I? A husband whose wife's left them? Not the first. Don't ring off. Hello? Mark, it's Ray. Uh, oh, oh, hello. Any news? Um, no, no. I, I went to the police this morning, but... Only I was wondering, on account I've been trying to ring you. Uh, what, what last night? Uh, and this morning, yeah? Yeah, oh, all right. Uh, no, it's just that I've been at work and... Well, look, will you be in tomorrow if I come over? Uh, say about six o'clock? Um, yeah, 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 I will be. There's some things I'd rather not say to you on the phone. You look terrible. In fact, I don't know what you're doing here. You should take some time off. So I do what? Go home and just sit there? Yes. I uh, can't. I spent last weekend driving around places we used to go, thinking I might spot her, which I know was ridiculous. But I can't just sit there doing nothing, and if somebody tries to make me, then I'm going to go stark staring mad. Which I'm probably doing anyway. No, you're not. Mm. Now, one thing happened. I got a phone call from my brother-in-law. Says he wants to talk to me. Denise's brother? Yeah. Was he close to her? Is uh, he close to her? Sorry, uh, it's all no, no. talking about her. No, it's okay. Is he close to her? Well, I know she went to see him a few times after his marriage broke up. And he said he didn't want to talk on the phone, so... Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. This is it. He has something to tell me. Um, would you like a coffee or a Nothing, tea or thanks. something? Um, well, it's it's good to see you. Oh, well, it would be if it Mark, was... Mark, what the hell's going on? What? And I want to know the truth, right? None of this crap about my sister disappearing. I mean, I do know her. This is not somebody I don't know. Uh, well, no. I mean, so, I know that she wouldn't just leave her home a job for no reason. I mean, come on. Well, yeah, Nobody does that. It. Least of all her. Well, she may well have had a... My own. sister isn't stupid. And she doesn't do stupid things, so can we stop farting about? What's going on? Well, I was hoping that... What? That you might have been able to tell me. <laughs> Is that meant to be funny? Look, all I know, I got back from work and Denise wasn't here. Well, she normally is, but oh, well, all right, not always. So at first, you know, I didn't think much Spare of it. Spare me all that. <sighs> Things had gone wrong between you two, had they? No. Well, something's happened. I don't know. Pride. Whatever it is, you won't admit it. Nothing happened. Uh, well, we, we didn't have a row. We didn't argue. Nothing. Look, whatever you want to tell your friends, your neighbours, that's your business. Tell them what you like. But me, I'm Denise's brother. My old mum hasn't slept for a week, worrying herself sick. So don't give me all that bullshit. I want to know. Do you want to look round the house? Why? Why should I want to look round frigging house? Well, you'll see that all Denise's clothes are still here. Uh, and her personal things, items that she'd have never left. Unless she wanted to leave you and everything else that reminded her of being <laughs> married to you. That's why she left them. Well. Ah, uh, and maybe, maybe you beat her up, is uh, that it? You beat her up and she ran off. Wouldn't have time to pack then, now would she? I think you should go. Not until I find out what's happened to me sister. I've told you. You've told me bloody nothing. I've told you all I know. And I don't believe you. Well, that's your choice now. Sorry, but will you please get out of my house? That's what? Eh? You'll beat me up like you did Denise. I don't have to listen to this. You don't want to, because it's true. 
The truth is that she's disappeared, okay? Gone. And if you don't want to believe that, then I'm sorry, but that's all I can tell you. And you told the police this? How she's just disappeared? Gone? Yes. I'm not sure I believe that. Then ask them. Now, if you will excuse me... I mind to ask them. Yeah, because I'm not going to leave this alone, you know. And I'm not going to leave you alone either. Not until I find out what's happened to my sister. Well, when you do, let me know. Uh, Alison, no. Uh, hi, sorry, am Excuse I... Excuse me. Oh, oh, sorry. You'll be hearing it from me. And see me as well if I find out that you've laid a finger on her. Denise's brother. I see. Bit upset. Well, I'm sorry he seems to be taking it out on you. Yeah, well, um, anyway, I come in. Well, no need, really. I just wanted to invite you round for dinner tonight. I'm sorry about my brother-in-law. Oh, that's OK. He seems to think I've killed Denise and disposed of the body. Oh, dear. Which is the last thing you need. Oh, well, no, I can't blame him, really. You can't blame him? Well, she has disappeared. No, no, it's nothing. I mean, you don't have to be her brother to start imagining... Well, I'm sure you must have. Must have? Oh, wondered if I've killed oh, her. Oh, I, I mean, I mean, only for a second. And then you said no and dismissed it, whereas Ray, who, well, face it, hardly knows me. We've never really got on. He finds it harder to dismiss. I think you're being remarkably understanding. Everybody who knows you knows how much you love Denise. Well, yeah, but then doesn't that only make everything harder to understand? Everybody must think there are things that are not being told, that there must have been more going on in the marriage than I'm letting on. More coffee? Uh, no, uh, no, no, thank you. Got more wine? Oh, no, no, I've, I've got to go. This, this has been lovely. Right, it's been lovely having you. Right, well, I'll put the drive lights on. Mm. You know, still, every time I go back into that house, part of me hopes she's going to be there. Well... And the other part of me says, no chance. She's either dead, or if she went off of her own accord and couldn't face telling me, well, not going to come back and tell me now, is she? Mark, I, I don't know what to say. Mm. Don't think I would either. Lights on. Are you sure you're going to be all right? Oh, positive and many, many, many thanks. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Oh, oh. Uh, um, uh, hello? Mark, it's Kate. Uh, Kate? Oh, hello, yes. Oh, sorry if it's late. Uh, no, no, I just got in, actually. Um, the neighbours invited me round for a, a meal and uh, quite a lot of wine. I just wonder what happened with the brother-in-law. Was he able to help? Uh, I wouldn't say that exactly. More accuse. Accuse? Mm, seemed to think I must have killed her. He came to see you just to say that? He's pretty single-minded as old Ray. Oh, that's awful. You all right? Oh, a bit pissed, but otherwise I'm... Do you want me to come round? Mm, uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, what would the neighbours think? On top of what they must think already. I uh, shouldn't say that. They've been very good. I just... I just want to know what's happened, Kate. <laughs> because I, I can go on like this. I can't go on not knowing what's happened to my wife. I'm sorry. Why? You ring to ask how I am. You told me. Mm, I'm not sure what I said, to be honest. Well, just... But I do know I was what they call uh, tired and emotional. But you had every right to be. Oh, hardly. But anyway, I've resolved that that's going to be an end of it. She's gone. And I'm not going to spend the rest of my life obsessing about... Where and why? What's the point? I'm not going to bring him back. You don't mean that. No. But I'm trying. And one day I will. Look at the state of it. It's because he's still grieving. It doesn't mean he can't do something about his garden. How long is it since she went? It's months ago. Don't be so callous. Unless, of course, he's buried her in there and he doesn't want to cut the grass in case we notice. Sometimes you're just juvenile. I'm not objecting. He can bury her wherever he likes. 
Just so long as it keeps the place looking decent. You hate everybody, don't you, underneath? Hate everybody. Oh, whereas you, you love everybody, especially neighbours of ours who get rid of the wires and they can't be bothered to cut the bloody grass. Look, he's coming out. Don't let me see we're looking. Oh, God, you think it's pretty obvious. Hello, Mark! Wonderful weather, isn't it? Yeah. Marvellous. Uh, garden's looking a bit of a mess. I uh, haven't really got round to it. Oh, you've had other things to think about. Of course you have. No news, I suppose. No. Oh, except I had the school on this morning. Sympathetic and all that, but basically saying if Denise isn't back for next term, they're going to have to replace her. Oh. Not very nice. Well, I can't blame them. What are they supposed to do? And I will get round to the garden, I, I promise. Hello? I haven't gone away, you know. Oh, please. I'm not going to either. Ray, look, I've had about enough of this. Have you? So you're going to tell me what you've done to my sister? I've done nothing to your sister. Certainly not compared to what she's done to me, and if you keep on with this, then I'm going to the police. I really am. Yeah? Well, don't forget to tell them what you've done. I haven't done anything, and I'm going to put this phone down. Tell them how you killed her. No. Oh. It's become a regular thing. Twice a week, he calls and tells me he knows I've killed her and I'm not going to get away with it. Can't you stop him? Well, I've spoken to a solicitor who's going to write to him, so I'll wait and see. Well, something else asked the solicitor. What happens if Denise stays missing forever? Legally, where does that leave me? What did he say? She has to stay away for seven years. After which my marriage is over and I'm a... I'm going to go away. And I'm going to keep on and on till I find out what you've done to me, sister. I haven't done anything to her. Whatever's been done, she did it. She left me. Yeah? And why? I don't know why. Can you get it into your thick head? I don't bloody well know. But there was nothing from Denise. No, just her crazy brother. Still saying... Um, that I killed her, yes. But forget him. Sticks and stones. What if he goes to the police? I'm sure he has. And I'm sure they've said to him what they said to me. Where is your evidence? But anyway, um, listen, this weekend, do you have anything planned or... Nothing major, just your average sort of barbecue, but I thought if you weren't doing anything... Oh, we'd love to come, won't we, Paul? Love to. But you must let us contribute. Oh, come on, after all the meals I've had here... We'll bring you a couple of bottles. Well, okay. By the way, there's someone else coming. Somebody I'd like you to meet. This is Kate. Kate, this is Paul and Alison. The best neighbours anybody's ever had. Hello, Kate. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Kate works with me down at the town hall and has been my other main support through these last four months, so it's appropriate that you three should meet. Yes. And also appropriate, um, if you want to take a glass... Thanks. Cheers. ...that you should toast yourselves. Well done, all three of you, and many thanks for keeping me alive and relatively sane. But to friends and neighbours. Friends, friends and neighbours. Friends and neighbours. You must say, your garden's in good nick. Somebody's put some work in. At uh, Boy Scouts? Ah. Five of them. I just sat in the deck chair and supervised. Your garden's lovely. I mean, really. Well, thank you. Well, you must come round and have a proper look. It's Paul's pride and joy. But then, he is an architect, so we expect something above average. Oh, you do? Well, I'd love to see it, yes. And Alison, do you have a job? Probation officer. Oh. Which means she witnesses a load of pathetic individuals who believe they haven't committed crime and tattles them to everybody's attention and sympathy. You think you'd get tired of saying that, wouldn't Instead you? Instead of which, they should be hosed down, have their heads shaved and sent back in. Don't you agree, Kate? Well, you don't have to answer. <clears throat> so that's Kate. I thought she's very nice. <laughs> no doubt soon to be the new Mrs. Telfer till he bumps her off as well and has to find number three. Paul, you've been drinking, and when you've been drinking, you say some nasty things, and I'd really rather not hear so, them. So, do you think those two were at it before, Denise? Well, and, oh, don't look at me like that. It must have occurred to you. No, it hadn't, as a matter of fact. Maybe. What we've been seeing tonight is the explanation of that long-running mystery of just why did the loving wife suddenly go missing? Because Hubby was having it away with the fancy piece from work. Not original, but in my opinion highly likely she's his friend his what friend 
People do have them, not you. Do uh, me a favour. They were itching to get their hands on one another. And yes, I know that in your world, everybody's nice underneath, but they do fornicate as well, don't they? I'm not talking to you. I can't stand you when you're like All this. All I'm saying is that those two are conducting a relationship. Well, good for them. But we're still entitled to one... Oh, shut up! Shut up! Just shut up! No. No, I won't be told to shut up in my own house. I'll talk whenever I want to and on whatever subject I choose. Then don't expect me to listen. I'm going upstairs. If I want to speculate about whether good old Mark next door's been having a bit on the side with the missus and found out and that's why she left him, then I doubt well will! This is really nice of you. I had to shop for myself. It's no effort picking up for you at the same time. Um, pasta. Oh, in the end, cover. By the way, and this is probably just me being paranoid, but I think there's someone following me. A woman. Denise? Well, I don't know. So what, um... I came out of the flat. Yeah? And there was this car parked on the other side of the road with a woman sitting in it. Blonde? Might have been, but anyway... Well, go on. I didn't think any more about it. I set off for the supermarket, and then I realised I haven't got my bag with me. So I have to go round the block to turn back, and that's when I notice her following. So I get back into the flat, go in and get my bag, come out again. And she's there? No. Oh, sorry. I set off again, but this time I'm watching for her. And when I get to where the traffic starts building up coming into town, that's when I spot her again, about six cars back. And then? No, that was it. I didn't see her after that. Well, so it, it might have just been coincidence. Might. Look, I think I'll just go out and have a drive round and see if I can see anything. Want me to come? Uh, well, um... Oh, no, sorry. Well, just if, if it is her. You'll want to see her by yourself. No, you go on. I'll put the rest of this away. I made some coffee. Cheers. No, I went round and hung about and then went round again. Shouldn't have told you, should I? Why have I not? Well, it made you hope. <laughs> hope? I wouldn't say that. Hope it would be her. You don't have to deny it. I won't deny... I'd like to see her. I won't deny that. Just so I can ask why. And why is she following me? I mean, rather than you. She's trying to scare me off. Well, why should she be following either of us? She knows where we are. She can just walk in here. Oh, time I was going. Uh, you, you don't have to. Stay the night. I'm not scared of being in the flat on my own, if that's what you're thinking. Um, no. I don't think she's going to attack me. Just thought you might have wanted to stay. Not tonight. Amazing. What? Denise, even though we don't know if it is her, or if it is whether she even wants to come back, or whether she's just come to collect her share of the money, or what the hell it is she wants, but already she's she's doing it, isn't she? She's coming between us. Hello? She's back. Well, Same place as yesterday, parked across the road from the flats. I can see her now. Stay there. I'm, I'm coming over. K-1 
Kate Nolan? Uh, me? What's happening? Well, nothing. I mean, she's still there. Okay, I- I'm coming as fast as I can. Well, be careful. I don't think she's going anywhere, at least not till I do. What sort of car is it? Um, dark blue. Ordinary-looking saloon. I'm, I'm just coming up your road now. I, I don't know whether you can see me. No. Oh, yes, I can now. Oh, oh I, I, I can see her. Right. I'm, I'm going to stop right in front of her. Whoever it was, it wasn't Denise. You're sure? Positive. Well, I know she drove off, but I get a pretty good view and now... So who was it then? Okay, not Denise, but whoever it was still shot off like a bat out of hell when she saw you arrive. I mean, why should she do that? No idea. I mean, was it because it was you or because she's a nervous lady and doesn't like strange men rushing up to her? I got the impression because it was me. Uh, hello? So where does your lady friend fit into all this? Oh, I thought I... You warned me. Yeah. Well, I'm warning you. I'm not going to go away, not until I find out what's happened to my sister. Hmm. Uh, was that... Did you send somebody to follow us? What if I did? A woman. What if it was? Right. So who was she? Some sort of private detective? Might have been. And all right, maybe being a smart-ass civil servant, you spotted her. But maybe there are others out there that you haven't spotted. Have you thought of that, smart-ass? Oh, you're wasting your money. My money? So that's why my sister left, is it? Because you were knocking off some tart from work? No. And I'm supposed to believe that? Oh, believe anything you like. Do what you like. Employ all the detectives you want. Let them find out what happened, and when they do... Let me know. So this woman was sitting in a car outside the flat and then following me when I left. Really? So obviously we thought it must have been Denise. Well, yes. But she wasn't. No. I went screaming over in my car. The minute I got there, she drove off. So then we had an even bigger mystery. Yeah. If it wasn't Denise, who was it? Oh, and then Ray rang. Now, you remember Ray? The aggressive brother-in-law. That's him. And he, well, he didn't exactly admit it, did he? No, but he said enough. For Mark to work out that the woman was a private detective that Ray had been employing to follow us. Gosh. Well, what, you ever thought she'd find out? Well, well, we've got Denise locked up in the cellar somewhere. Oh, well, yes. Which we haven't, by the way. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> so, that was your mystery solved. Well, eventually. Thank goodness. Though I suppose the greater one remains. You still haven't heard from the lady herself. No. Don't expect to. It's eight months since she went, and we haven't had a peep out of her so far. Why should we ever? Until one day. Oh, yes. Now, Kate has this fantasy. One day in 35 years' time. When we've retired to, oh, um... Cornwall. Eh, uh, Cornwall? <laughs> okay. We'll get this letter from Australia, and it'll be from her, and it'll explain everything. How she won the lottery and ran away with her lover. The lottery? Yeah, <laughs> but if we haven't thought of that one. Oh, well, that's the, well, let's call it the colourful version. My version. So I prefer to think that she came home from school, got to the gate... And had this vision of the whole of her life ahead of her. Home, school, home, school, home, school. And she just thought, no, no, there's got to be something more than that. And instead of turning into the house, she just carried on. Until she came to... Hmm? Oh, <laughs> I don't know that. We have to wait for the letter for that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, excuse me. Things to see to in the kitchen. Uh, you, you want me? I'll shout if I do. Well, anyway, you two looking well. Turning cold, though, isn't it? Hate this time of year. Uh, the problem is there are things, the, the house, for instance, that are in joint names, uh, me and Denise, so are pretty well untouchable mm. for another six or so years. After which she's presumed dead. You can appeal, though, can't you? Yeah, I can, but even if they agreed to me selling the house, they'd want to hang on to half the money. In case she comes back. Oh, yes. Mm. And uh, can I ask, I mean, now that a certain amount of time's elapsed since the lady's departure... Oh, a lifetime. Isn't part of you pleased that she's gone? <laughs> pleased? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, just a small part of you, you know, a fraction. Oh. And okay... It might be a part of you that you'd rather deny and that you try not to listen to. But all the same... What on earth Wait, wait, please. 
All I'm saying, however happy we are and settled, isn't there always a part of us that wants an end to it? You mean it was Mark glad when Denise left it? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> what kind of Do you have to misinterpret me so wantonly? Have you been listening to a single word I've said? I don't think I was in I said, was there just a tiny infinitesimal part of him that felt a sense of release? Even though the rest of him is devastating and forlorn and despairing... Well, I've said it. I don't know why I should have to keep saying the same bloody thing. You're asking him, wasn't he glad? No! Oh, listen, I, I have to say, if you'll let me answer... Please. You don't have to. He knows he doesn't have to. I have to say that I wasn't aware of anything like that, no. No. Okay, well, then I'm wrong. Yes. In my case. I mean, we're all different, aren't we? No, I don't think we are. Well, I... And I know you might think this isn't the same, but I was in a relationship that ended suddenly and against my will, and I was terribly upset, you remember? Uh, yes. Tears at work and all that, but I did feel, yes, at the same time, a sense of I'm free and I could do anything, and that was kind of exhilarating, even though I was crying all the time. Or isn't that what you meant? This is very much what I meant. If we've commitment, then we want freedom. If we've freedom, then we want commitment. Which is why we're all pretty miserable most of the time. I need lots of alcohol, Kate. <laughs> Let me top you up. What do you think of her? Kate. Huh, predatory. What do you think? After his soul, if I were him, I'd run a mile. I think she's very nice. Probably just what he needs. Oh, yes. Nice. Well, you would think that. And everybody's nice underneath as far as you're concerned, aren't they? <laughs> well, you're not. Asking him was he pleased when Denise went. Uh, that was not what I said. Please, that his wife had disappeared. For Christ's sake. Oh, so you could look interested. Oh, that was not Showing what... Showing off all the time. Why do you have to willfully misinterpret instead of listening? Oh, we've heard this before. Yes, because it's true. The minute I open my mouth... <laughs> hey, where are you going? To bed. You think I want to listen to you all night? Well, I think after you've just accused me... Wait! No, I'm not going to be ordered about and... I said wait! Let go of me! You... Then don't you walk away. I walk away whenever I want. Let me go. go. Just wait. Let me go. <sighs> Stupid bloody woman. <laughs> Alison. Alison, come on. What do you want me to do? Break the door down? Oh, wrong the police. You've what? Wrong the police and told them I'm being assaulted. Assaulted? Yes. Go, come on, please. I'll come out when they get here. Just go away. Are you serious? You've wrong... You haven't. Have. Yes. It's what I've always advised other people to do and now it's what I've done. Oh, yes. you bloody... Stupid. Go away! I'll come out when they get here. <sighs> right, well, good night. Thank you. Bye. Well. <laughs> Thank you for that humiliating experience. Thank yourself. So. Now I have a criminal record, do I? Now I'm down on some home office blacklist as a wife beater. That's the least of your problems. I'm leaving. Oh, and you can do all the talking you like. It's not going to make any difference. <laughs> and can I ask why? Why? Because I 
Just because I'm not meaning to, but because I pushed you against a f cupboard. Is that why? Because you assaulted me. Oh, well, let's not quibble over terminology. And because I can't stand you any longer. No. I can't stand you going on and on and on and being cynical about everything. Anyway, I don't have to explain. All you need to know is that I'm going and I shan't be coming back. No, wait, please. Please, don't do this. I'm sorry. Please. Because I... I couldn't stand it. Well, you're going to have to. No, look. I'm begging. Please. Paul, hi. Hey, you're putting me to shame. All this gardening. Oh, no, just turning up for the winter. Oh, by the way, I've been meaning to drop a note round to say thank you for dinner the other night. We both really enjoyed it. So did I, yes. Till about one o'clock in the morning, when Alison packed her bags and left me. She what? Well, which I know must sound like a sick joke. Like I'm trying to join your deserted husband's club, but no, I am serious. More to the point, so was she. But I can't believe we were having this, you know animated sort of debate, things go out of hand. In fact, to tell you the whole miserable sodding tale, she actually went as far as calling the police. No. Two coppers, aged about nineteen, mm -hmm. stood around in an embarrassed sort of a way while she told them what a terrible man I was, menace to society, he shouldn't be allowed out. And then they went. And then she went. But you, I mean... Over dinner, there was nothing. Well, that... uh, well, there probably was, if you knew where to look. No, Mark, we haven't been, you know, what they call getting on for quite some time. Well, I'm sorry. I really am. Thanks. A bit sorry for myself, actually. Well, you do get used to people. Oh, I'm sure she'll... She'll be back. Possibly. Although I'm the last person she'd be saying that. Um, well, look, if there's anything I can do... Uh, yeah, thanks. No, really, um, anything. You and Alison were so good to me when... That was mainly Alison. She supplied most of the kindness. <sighs> but you promised me you will come round at yes, any time. Uh, yeah. Doesn't have to be for anything specific, just if you feel you want to talk. <laughs> So where's she gone? Uh, he didn't say. You didn't ask? Didn't think to. But I do feel sorry for him. I mean, I remember what I went through. Well, but hang on. You said the police were called. Yeah. So things must have got fairly serious. I mean, physical. Well... All I'm saying is, let's not compare what's happened to him to what's happened to you. From what you said, there's no mystery about why Alison's gone. I suppose not. Though, in a way, that probably means he's feeling even worse than I did. Well, I don't see how... Because he knows... I never did, but he knows why she went, and knows it was his fault. Well, sit down. Uh, can I get you a coffee? Uh, no, no, nothing, thanks. I, I don't want to interrupt. I just thought I'd call and uh, see how you're getting on. Oh, well, you know, uh, well, of course you do. Mm. Surviving is what I used to say. Then I shall say the same. And any word from Alison? No. Mm. Do you know where she's gone? No. I always seem to have somewhere to go, though, don't they, women? Me, I'd be at a complete loss. I'd get out there, wander about, and probably end up down the pub. Oh, me too. I suppose I could try and find out, but what's the point? If she wants to come back, then she will. She doesn't. This book at all I can do about it. Anyway, how about a glass of wine, eh? Well, a bit early. Well, just a bit. Well, we'll wait five minutes. Uh, oh, I suppose I should try and track her down. Funny is to stop the bloody constabulary they dragging me in and beating me to a pulp. What, are the, are the police? Oh, are they're they... showing a very unhealthy interest. I told you, didn't I? She rang them the night she left. Yes. Well, that seems to have excited them. And then I suppose, what you know, with her being in the business... Oh, probation officer. Oh, yeah. They like to keep an eye on their own. So they've... What, they've been run to see you? Yes, and looking very disbelieving when I... All I can tell him is that I'm sorry, but she's not here. Don't know where she is, no. Have I heard from her? No. So she hasn't been to work? Apparently not. Oh, dear. Well, um... Anyway, look, Kate's coming round later, and we wondered whether you'd like to join us for dinner. 
He said, no, thank you. He said he didn't feel he'd be very good company at the moment. Never was, was he? Oh. Arrogant and opinionated, that's what I'd call him. They were both very kind to me. But it was more her than him. Yep. Anyway, apparently Alison hasn't been to work, and so the police have been round. Again? Yeah. Well, they wouldn't do that without something's happened, and he must have hit her or... Uh, wait, wait a minute. Hang on. That's exactly... That's exactly what people must have been saying about me when Denise went. Well, yeah, but then they'd no reason Any to... more than we have now. Mark, she called the police. I know he's your friend, and you don't want to think he might have done something really awful, but maybe he has. There's something happening next door, at Paul and Alison's. Well, anyway, in the garden. What? I think the police are searching it. I went up to the bathroom. Yeah? And I could hear something going on, dogs barking, that sort of... Anyway, I went into the back bedroom that overlooks their garden and had a look out the window. Oh, but you can only see part of the I know, garden. but what I could see, there are a couple of policemen with dogs. And I'm sure that's what they're doing, searching the garden. Don't put the light on. There. See? Mm. Policeman and a dog. I think there's another one somewhere. Oh, it's probably routine. Something they have to do. Searching gardens? Come on. They must think he's killed her. We can't say that. What then? Well, I, I don't know, but can, can we go back down? I, I, I don't like this spying. They can't see us. Even so. Why don't you ring Paul? And say what? Just the truth. You think there might be somebody in his garden? I know there's somebody in his garden. I imagine he does as well. Yes, but pretend you don't know who they are. You've just seen, you know, shadowy figures. Paul, it's Mark here. Oh, hello. Um, I don't want to alarm you, but I've just been taking some rubbish out and I thought I'd noticed somebody in your garden. Ah, uh, you might have, yes. I've got the constabulary round again and they stand on mob handed. Right. Um, well, I, I just wanted to make sure that you were okay. Not sure about that. Have to wait and see. Yeah. Gotta go. Okay, yeah. Right, bye. I shouldn't have done that. It's all right. I thought you lied very well. No. I'm going upstairs again. Are you not coming downstairs? Look, the dogs have gone, but they've marked out an area. You can just see the tape where that policeman's standing. Well, I'm going to go on with the washing up. I'll give you a shout if anything happens. I thought you must have fallen asleep. Oh, look, they're digging. Oh. They've put the lights on so you can see everything. Yes. So, I mean, it can't be anything else. They think he's killed her and buried her out there. Uh, well, somebody might think that. It only takes one malicious phone call. To make them do all this? Yes. It must be more than that. They must know he's killed her. Uh, just as there must have been plenty of people who knew I'd killed Denise. Which is why you now think you have to give him the benefit of the doubt. No, it's not just that. I've known Paul a long time. Then look. I don't believe... Just look. Why do you think they're doing all this? I'm going out. Uh, no. Other people out. There's quite a crowd at the front. And you want to know what's going on? Uh, what is? They found her. Alison? They dug up a body and brought it out and taken it away in an ambulance. No. Yes. Well, you've actually seen... Yeah. I mean, not well, the body was covered, but that's what it was. No question. A body. So... Christ. And what's happened to Paul? Well, what people are saying, he was taken off in a police car about half an hour ago. God. So, I mean, now you've got to admit it. He killed her. I still can't believe it, though. I should think the police will want to talk to us, won't they? Well, why? Well, we must have been one of the last ones to see her alive. Oh, I said, wasn't that the night she called the police? All right, so, apart from them, imagine. We had dinner, and then we came home, and he must have murdered her there and then that night. And, no, hang on, and it was a body they were taking away. I mean, you're sure? Yes, Mark, it's true. I'm sorry, but it is. Paul killed Alison. No. 
What? He didn't. Look, she's here. Mark, what's happening? Well, um... Are you all right? Yeah, but why all this? Has something happened to Paul? No, 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 he's, um... The police have been searching your garden. Why? What? You mean for me? Well, well we think that's... That, that's what it looked like. Well, I'd better go and have no, a no, word. No, no, they're, they're coming, they're coming. Mr Telfer? Mr Mark Telfer? Yes? I'm Alison Callan. Can somebody please tell me what's going Mrs. on? Mrs. Callan, yes. I will want a word with you, but first of all, it's Mr. Telfer here I need to speak to. Do you think we could go inside, sir? You might want to sit down. I'm afraid this may come as a bit of a shock. What? You contacted us February the 19th of this year to report your wife had gone missing? Yes. I'm going to have to ask you to accompany me to the mortuary. We've discovered a body that we think could be her. I'd better warn you, Mr. Telfer. The body you're about to see has been in the ground for some time. Ah, uh, yes. I just need you to say whether or not it's the body of your wife. I understand. Yes. Yes, it's her. Oh, he's here. The police brought me back. I hope you didn't mind me waiting. Uh, no. Was it Denise? Yes. Oh, dear God. Denise, yes. Oh, Mark, I'm sorry. Look, sit down. She'd been there all the time, just a few yards away in your garden, all the time, while I'd been searching and we'd been imagining her in Australia. Do they know what happened? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I gather Paul has given them a statement. I've been having a relationship with Denise Telfer for, I don't know, three or four months. I can't claim it was driven by any great passion. I suppose as much as anything it had, because we were so often at home at the same time. I worked from home. She was a teacher, so she was home during the holidays, for instance, while her husband was at work. I used to advise her on her gardening, and she'd stay for her drinking. Anyway, that's how it started. Also, I think, from something she once said, that she suspected her husband had been unfaithful with a colleague at work, and so what we were doing was redressing the balance. Anyway, whatever her reasons, looking back now, I don't think her heart was in it. Then one day, she was back from school, and she came round to tell me she was intending telling her husband what had been going on. Confessing, if you like. Apparently they'd been talking about starting a family and she was feeling guilty. I urged her not to do this. I said, OK, yes, we could stop seeing one another, but why did she have to tell him? But she was insistent. And, and things... Things got out of hand. I lost my temper and I hit her. The next thing I knew, she was on the floor, not breathing. I tried to resuscitate her, but it was no good. Well, you know the rest. I ended up burying her in the garden. Then, of course, I came home and found nobody in. And rang us? Yes. Spoke to Paul and asked, was Denise there with you? I shouldn't be here, should I? I'll see myself out. What can I do? Oh, nothing. Mark, I know this must be awful for you, but... At least now you know what happened. You know. She was having an affair with Paul. Yes. And why? Well, because she knew about us. So really, um, really Ray was right, wasn't he? I did kill her. Paul killed her? Paul and me and you. We all did.
In The Missing Wife, Mark was played by Alistair Galbraith, Paul David Schofield, Alison Catherine Hunt, Kate Alison Darling, and Ray Bill Rogers. All other parts were played by members of the cast. The Missing Wife was written by Peter Worley and directed in Manchester by Pauline Harris. <laughs>